What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to talk about a huge trade a hedge fund did on GameStop. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump in this video here. We're going to talk about a, a, a trade a hedge fund did on GameStop last year that made them $700 million. Huge, huge, huge trade. We're going to talk about it here. It's on CNBC. We're going to do a little reaction video to it. Before we move further, do me a quick solid. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video and when I go live. Right now, I go live basically almost every day for 8 a.m. for pre-market uh, scanning and pre-market watch lists. All right, so come and join me uh, tomorrow at 8 a.m. here on the live stream. Now, let's go ahead and jump in here real quick. Let's see what they have to say. This is an article that came out last week on the 27th the fund that made 700 million dollars on gamestop knew it was time to sell after an elon musk tweet now that's funny because a lot of people do watch elon musk and see what he's tweeting because when he tweets things do move around shiba inu for example amc gamestop uh, what was that other one dogecoin every time he would tweet about those they would move around every so often so let's go ahead and see what this article has to say about it all right, so one hedge fund got the GameStop trade just about perfect last year, buying it at under $10 and selling when the meme stock peaked. The sell signal it used? An Elon Musk tweet. Maybe we need to incorporate that, incorporate that into our trade ideas scanners. Guys, if you don't know trade ideas right now, you can sign up for a test drive that's going to commence next month on the 14th. I'll leave a link in the description and in the comment section, specifically the comment section. I'm going to leave a link to that so you can click it and then sign up for the trade idea test drive until you can test drive those scanners. Now, Elon, let's see what that uh, tweet was. January 26, 2021, you could see it here, GameStop at 4 8 p.m was that was that what it needed was that what it needed his piling on on, on with his piling on with that tweet for us was well was we all looked at each other and thought how do you top that richard marshall senvis management's founder ceo and co-cio said in an interview and so for that for us that signified peak momentum, and we proceeded to exit the rest of our position. That's wild to me. It's almost like we jokingly sometimes say, which we, it's a jokingly comment we make as traders, but we really mean it. Sometimes when like the peak is in, is when people who don't really talk about stocks, period, start to ask you, hey, have you bought such and such stock? Have you bought such and such crypto? Kind of coincides with that, huh? Very similar, uh, very similar vision that these uh, these people had here, Richard Marshall uh, from Seventh Management. You know, maybe there is something to it, right? I think there is. The Tesla CEO tweeted Game Stonk on January 26, 2021, after the bell. The next day, GameStop, GameStop reached its closing top of $347.51. A share. I don't know why I would say a piece there. When Sevens dumped its bet, that's wild to me. That is really, really crazy. You know. So let's see what else does it say on here. Here's here's GameStop. You can see the chart, the line chart that CNBC used here. Not much, not much, not much. I remember trading it at the end of the year uh, in 2020, right before this huge move, I had a thousand shares of GameStop at $12 and some odd cents. I rode that all the way to 15 and change, came back down, I believe to like 13, 14 bucks. I sold out of it, made a nice chunk of profit there, but man, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. It was a, it was a swing trade based off a cup and handle pattern on the daily chart. Nothing else, nothing more. So that's a crazy move that we saw. And, you know, like expected, and like I said way throughout this move, don't expect GameStop to go to a thousand bucks. Much like I say, don't expect AMC to go to a thousand bucks. I wouldn't even expect AMC to go to 350, 
No, not me. Anyways, so yeah, you're getting that dump here on AMC. I'm sorry, on GME in 2022, and you're still getting a dump on AMC in 2022 as well. The meme stock saga started just days into 2021 when retail investors teamed up on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum, aiming to bid up GameStop shares, which were heavily shorted by hedge funds. The retail buying triggered massive short covering among hedge funds that fueled the rally even further. Marshall decided, and I got to, Michelle, right? Michelle, I got to think I'm pronouncing that correctly, decided to buy shares of GameStop in September 2020 amid a slew of analysts sell ratings and unprecedentedly high short interest. That's a smart move there. It's classic contrarian play for us, Marshall said. Wall Street doesn't issue very many sell recommendations and GameStop had plenty of those and very few, if not, no buy recommendations. And then, of course, the short interest, which was over 100% of the shares outstanding. So both of those would be pretty glaring indicators that this was a stock that was out of favor. Senvest is indeed an anomaly in hedge fund industry where plenty of players got burned by the unprecedented short squeeze. Melvin Capital was one of the biggest losers amid the meme stock mania. Its steep losses once prompted Citadel and 0.72 to infuse close to $3 billion into Gabe Plotkin's hedge fund to shore, to shore up its finances. Melvin suffered a 39% loss in 2021 after GameStop short squeezed. Wow. That's a huge loss. That's a huge loss, but these people really hit it out of the park with $700 million. Are you kidding me? So talk about being on the right side of things. Now you got to ask yourself, was it just the apes who made that GME move or was it the teamwork between apes and hedge funds that piled on in and squeezed those other funds. And you must understand that it was that. It wasn't just only the apes. There were hedge funds who saw that as the perfect storm, the perfect opportunity for them to stick it to other funds that they knew were short GameStop. And that happened on AMC just the same. So now you have to ask yourself, are there plenty of hedge funds involved in AMC? Don't know about that. I don't think so. Not, not really. Not so much so at this point in time. So will the apes have the strength to move AMC again? I'm not sure about that either because the apes are moving around rather scared. Check out my last video on AMC that I dropped on Sunday and maybe see whether or not you think, well, what you think about that. I think that mostly the apes at this point in time are a little bit concerned, you know, with how much AMC has dropped, which is, has dropped significantly from those tops in the seventies. I've seen AMC drop here last week into the thirteens. So, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, I would say AMC is probably done and it might go lower here leading into the summer of 2022. That's just what I think. Let me know what you think about this hedge fund that made $700 million on GME and let me know your thoughts on AMC moving forward. Remember guys, you can come join us at the Discord completely for free. There's a link in the description and comment section. All right, so make sure to check that out. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to leave your comments in the comment section. And let me know what you think about GME AMC and uh, smash that like button for me it goes a long way with the youtube algorithm and i'll catch you on the next one